As part of the Megazyme product range, Neogen provides an extensive range of assay kits for use in various assay formats, including auto-analyzer, microplate, and manual spectrophotometer. This enzymatic sulfide test kit, KET Sulf, is a simple, highly specific, and reliable enzymatic method for the measurement and analysis of total sulfite as sulfur dioxide in wines, beverages, foodstuffs, and other materials. The KET Sulf assay kit will quantify both free sulfites in solution and bound sulfites to provide a total sulfite measurement. This video tutorial will demonstrate the use of the kit with a wine sample and the kit standard using the manual spectrophotometer format. The kit contains sufficient reagents for 50 manual assays and the detailed assay protocol is available from the Megzyme website. The principle of the enzymatic reaction involved in the measurement of total sulfite is shown in this figure. Sulfite is oxidized to sulfate by the enzyme sulfite oxidase in the presence of oxygen. Hydrogen peroxide formed from this reaction is reduced by the enzyme NADH peroxidase in the presence of NADH. The amount of NAD plus formed from this reaction pathway is stoichiometric with the amount of sulfite or aldehyde bound sulfite in the reaction. It is NADH consumption which is measured by the decrease in absorbance at 340 nanometers. Prior to sample analysis, prepare the supplied kit components as described in the kit assay protocol. And once prepared, they are ready for use in the assay procedure. Use the contents of bottles 1, 3 and 4 as supplied. The contents of bottle 2 are dissolved in 11 ml of distilled water. The bottle is capped and the contents are mixed thoroughly. Divide into appropriately sized aliquots and store in polypropylene tubes below minus 10 degrees Celsius. To prepare the kit standard, weigh 1 gram of citric acid into a 1 litre volumetric flask. Make to 800 milliliters with distilled water and stir to dissolve. Accurately add 590 milligrams of sodium sulfite, bottle 5, and dissolve by stirring and make to the 1 litre mark and seal. This sulfite solution is equivalent to 300 milligrams per litre as sulfur dioxide and should be used directly in the assay. Due to the characteristic instability of sulfite solutions, they will lose approximately 2% of the sulfite content per hour. Therefore, this solution must be made fresh on the day of use. Follow the manual assay procedure as described. In this demonstration, we are using a white wine sample which requires no further dilution in duplicate along with the prepared sulfite standard and a reagent blank tube. Accurately pipette 0.5 ml of buffer bottle 1 into all tubes. Accurately pipette 0.2 ml of NADH bottle 2 into all tubes. Accurately pipette 0.1 ml of the wine sample into the sample tubes. Thoroughly mix the prepared standard solution prior to aliquoting. Accurately pipette 0.1 ml of the prepared standard into the standard tube. Accurately pipette 2.5 ml of distilled water into all tubes. Pipette an additional 0.1 ml of distilled water into the blank tube. Swirl to mix the contents of bottle 3, NADH peroxidase, prior to dispensing. Pipette 0.02 ml of bottle 3 into all acid tubes.
When all of the components have been added, mix the tube contents thoroughly and incubate the tubes at 25 degrees Celsius for approximately 4 minutes. After 4 minutes, record the first absorbance reading, A1, at 340 nanometers for all of the assay tubes. In this demonstration, we are using the Mega Quant Wave Spectrophotometer, set to read at 340 nanometers. Alternatively, a recording spectrophotometer with 1 cm path length cuvettes can be used. Swirl to mix the contents of bottle 4, sulphide oxidase, prior to dispensing. Pipette 0.02 ml of bottle 4 into all acid tubes. Mix the tube contents thoroughly and incubate the tubes at 25 degrees Celsius for approximately 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, record the second absorbance reading, A2 at 340 nanometers for all of the assay tubes. This absorbance reading completes the enzymatic total sulfite assay procedure. The relevant absorbance readings A1 and A2 of the sample and the blank reactions are used to calculate the total sulfite concentration in the original samples. When performing this test using the pre-installed protocol on the Megaquant Wave Spectrophotometer, the results will be automatically calculated and printed via the onboard printer or the data can be exported to a computer using the SF Capture software. Please see our Megaquant Wave video for further details. If the results output are raw absorbance values for both blank and samples, the calculations of total sulphide content can be performed manually as described in the calculation section of the assay protocol. A specific Excel-based MegaCalc sheet allows for quick and easy results analysis. Results can be analysed using the MegaCalc application specific to this enzymatic total sulphite assay kit, which is available to download free of charge from the Megzyme website. The MegaCalc spreadsheet provides full instructions for use. Open the MegaCalc worksheet and input the following. Sample details. Absorbance readings for the blanks. For each sample, input the sample identifier. For each sample, input the absorbance values recorded. Alter the sample volume if a volume other than the default 0.1 ml is used. If dilution of the sample has been performed, then input the dilution factor used. If no further dilution was performed, the dilution factor is 1. When all of the data has been entered, the concentration of total sulphite in the sample is automatically calculated and given as grams per litre in the original sample. For solid samples, input the concentration of the original sample extract in grams per litre. The concentration of total sulphite in the solid samples is then automatically calculated and provided as grams per 100 gram in the original sample.